The pandemic housing market is coming to an abrupt halt. Buyers are getting priced out by mortgage rates that have almost doubled since January. Sales in the U.S. fell for the fifth time this year in June, and brokers and mortgage companies have started laying off employees by the hundreds. Unlike the exploding home price bubble that triggered the 2008 financial crisis and left millions of foreclosed properties in its wake, this is an affordability crisis. The biggest risk to the economy now is a deep and prolonged sales slump that could give the $4 trillion industry a starring role once again in the next economic recession. The Federal Reserve's campaign to fight inflation by raising interest rates is having its intended effect of cooling the overheated housing market. Sellers are lowering their listing price as inventory starts rising from record low levels. Existing home sales have fallen 16% since the start of this year and sunk below the pre-pandemic levels. Soaring mortgage costs is only part of the issue. Stock market turmoil and recession fears have shaken buyer confidence. Now that that the U.S. is entering a kind of COVID-19 normalcy, the stampede to suburbs and more affordable cities has lowered. Workers are getting back to offices and COVID restrictions have lessened. So those who felt stifled before are no longer in a rush to escape. Builders for now remain busy, finishing homes they've already started that will keep farmers, roofers, and laborers employed for a while. But in a sign of pessimism about future activity, they're not seeking as many building permits as they were previously. Applications to construct single-family homes fell in June to a two-year low. Many builders report said that their orders from the quarter that ended in June plunged 23% from a year earlier. The slowdown is already having a ripple effect, and if sales keep deteriorating, the malice will spread to home builders, construction companies, and eventually furniture stores, landscapers, and moving companies. The job losses in real estate and other industries will reinforce housing problems, putting more pressure on demand. Real estate companies like Compass and Redfin recently let go of hundreds of employees. Redfin said, We could be facing years, not months, of fewer home sales, and Redfin still plans to thrive. Potential buyers navigating the least affordable housing market since the mid-1980s have less competition as bidding wars subside. This gives them the opportunity to be pickier and more opportunistic, particularly in pandemic migration destinations such as Austin, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Boise, and more. Still, price growth tends to be sticky and is unlikely to go negative anytime soon. That's that's because inventory, now beginning to increase as sales decrease, remain unusually tight across the country. Unlike in the 2008 financial crisis, values are not built on risky subprime loans thanks to a decade of robust price appreciation, so a wave of foreclosures and distressed sales seems less likely. Instead, the high cost of housing threatens to freeze Americans in place. Homeowners are less inclined to give up a low-cost mortgage and take on a more expensive one, putting a cap on available inventory. For renters, it makes sense to sit tight and renew because new lease come with giant markups. So housing issues could make it harder for people to switch jobs or improve living conditions in a fast-changing economy. Igor Popov, chief economist for ApartmentsList.com, said, First-time home sales provide the escape valve for the pressure in the rental market. If it gets even harder to have first-time home buyers achieve home ownership, it means more demand stays in the rental market. So the rental market could even get hotter as we enter a low-wage growth environment. The frenzy of the past two years couldn't go on forever. Buyers were so worried about missing out that they waived mortgage, appraisal, and inspection contingencies. And winning bidding wars often meant going as high as possible, driving the market further skyward with each sale. A recession, which the housing slump could help bring on, would make the situation far worse. Some expect mortgage rates to move within a narrow range as recession fears grow. It will take time, but prices will start to flatten and potentially decline in areas where the pandemic boom was strongest. However, even though there's a lot of uncertainty in the market, this could be a great time to start looking to buy a home. Many sellers are worried that the value of their home will drop and are more desperate to sell their home. In the recent months, the amount of sellers that have decreased their listing price has grown drastically, and they're becoming more lenient on the offers that they're willing to accept. To conclude, the next six months of the U.S. housing market is going to be very vital and where we go for the next five to ten years. So it's important to stay informed, and if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe and use this as a way to know when to buy a home and when to be cautious. If you like this video or have any ideas of other videos we would like to see, please leave a comment down below and I will get right to it.